Waves Tracks Live is a great free recording program for all of your multi-track and virtual sound check needs, so it is definitely worth the price of admission and worth checking out. When the program loads before we select or set up a session, we can see the system settings showing the interface, in this case a Behringer Wing Mixer, as well as the sample rate and the number of inputs and outputs. This is all based on the previous session, but it allows us to see the settings and change them before creating a new session. Select System Settings to change these settings. From the window, we can select the interface including an X32 or wing mixer if one is connected. We can select how many inputs are active. They can be set individually or as a global all on or all off. The outputs are the same way, except there's the option for a stereo or multi-output setup. You can set the amount of outputs for the multi-channel setup and switch back and forth between stereo or multi. You can change the buffer setting. A longer buffer time is going to be better for older or slower computers. But for recording or virtual sound check, you should be fine using the highest buffer available because it doesn't matter. Once you are happy with the settings, you can create a new session and choose a location for it. When the session loads, you can see the meter bridge across the top. You can adjust the height of the track and the time base as well as the waveform size. You can easily change your output settings from stereo to multi-track. There is a meter showing the resources being used by the program as well as the recording time remaining on your disc. The recording time will recalculate as you arm or disarm tracks. Name the tracks if you know what the channels will be. Click on the track name and type the new name and then hit enter to store it. If you name the tracks before recording the files, the files will be named after the tracks. If you do not name them, the files will be named track 1, track 2, etc. You can record arm one track at a time or globally arm or disarm all tracks. Once they are armed, you can see any signal present on the meter bridge to make sure that all of your channels have signal. It is a good idea to disarm tracks that are not being used so that they do not record empty tracks for you to try to sort through later. Hit the record icon when you are ready to record. Confirm on the meter bridge that you are getting signal on all of the channels that you are supposed to get signal on. After recording, you can disarm the tracks and then the program will switch into playback mode. You can set a playback loop, which is helpful for virtual sound check when you need to focus in on a source or section of a song as long as needed. You can save the session as a session file. You can also save a template file to save time when working with a similar setup. The tracks can be found at the following location. Session name, interchange, session name, audio files. 
Next, we will look at setting up the X32 or wing to work with Waves Tracks Live.